When I bought the M4 Mac Mini last year, I opted for the base model and I skipped the optional 10 gigabit ethernet upgrade. At the time, spending an extra £100 seemed unnecessary as I figured the standard gigabit port would be enough. But one of my main uses for the Mac Mini this year has been performing hourly time machine backups of my M4 Max powered Mac Studio. Specifically, the Mac Studio backs up to an external SSD which is connected to the Mac Mini, which is then synced to my Synology NAS in real time. In hindsight, skipping the 10 gigabit ethernet upgrade might have been a mistake. So today, I'm going to show you how I upgraded my Mac Mini from one gigabit ethernet to 10 gigabit ethernet using a USB 4 adapter that a case has sent out to me for review. And we'll see if it delivers the speed boost that I'm hoping for. The official name of the adapter is the Acasis USB 4 to 10 gigabit ethernet adapter, model NT0201. It retails for 109 US dollars on the official Acasis website, and that price includes free delivery and a one year warranty. The package includes the 10 gigabit ethernet adapter, a user manual, and a 50 centimeter USB type C to type C cable rated for 40 gigabits per second. I weighed the adapter in at only 123 grams or 4.4 ounces. Its solid aluminium alloy build is designed to dissipate heat. One end houses the USB type C port, the other an RJ45 ethernet port. The adapter is powered entirely by your computer's bus power and is compatible with USB 4, Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 5. Interestingly, when connected to my Mac Mini, macOS detects it as a Thunderbolt 3 device using the supplied USB 4 cable, but also with other USB 4 cables that I own. Acasis notes that the adapter is plug and play on macOS and Linux, but Windows requires a driver. In my case, the adapter was instantly recognized on a six year old Dell XPS 13 laptop running Windows 11. And connected to the laptop's Thunderbolt 3 port, it was recognized as a Marvel Action 10 gigabit network adapter. If Windows doesn't detect the adapter automatically, you can download the driver you need from the Acasis network card drivers page. When I connect my Mac Mini directly to my Mac Studio using a USB 4 cable, the connection has a latency of 0.4 milliseconds and a transfer rate of a whopping 37.8 gigabits per second. In contrast, when my Mac Mini connects to the Mac Studio through my local network using its built-in gigabit ethernet port, the latency is closer to 0.5 milliseconds and the transfer rate is around 940 megabits per second. A direct cable connection is clearly faster, but it does require the computers to be physically close. I have a few 10 gigabit ethernet switches at home, so using the Acasis adapter to connect the Mac Mini to my local network is another good option. With the Acasis ethernet adapter connected to my Mac Mini, the connection to my Mac Studio showed a latency of around 0.45 milliseconds and a transfer rate of 9.4 gigabits per second. Normally, SMB transfers on macOS are limited, but by sending 35 gigabytes of files in parallel, I was able to max out my 10 gigabit ethernet link at over 800 megabytes per second. Like all aluminium enclosures, the adapter gets warm under heavy transfer, but that's normal as the adapter is fanless, which means it's quiet, and relies on its casing for heat dissipation. Overall, I'm delighted with the results. My Mac Mini now connects to my local network 10 times faster, and this not only speeds up transfers to the Mac Studio, it also allows much faster time machine backups to my Synology NAS. So I've had everything set up this way for a couple of weeks and my Mac Mini is still sitting in front of me, it's underneath my monitor and it's still connected to my Mac Studio. Now previously I was connecting the Mac Mini to the Mac Studio directly using this USB 4 cable but now it's going through my local network. Now, I was always able to connect my Mac Mini to the Mac Studio through my local network, but I was restricted through the Gigabit port. Now I'm using this adapter, I can go through my local network 10 times faster than before. But I'm sure some of you are watching this thinking, well, if the Mac Mini's there and the Mac Studio's there, why not use a cable connection? And it's a valid question. 
In the short term, like right now, what I've done is freed up a Thunderbolt 5 port on the Mac Studio. I've got an available Thunderbolt 5 port on that. And that's useful to me because I can connect to a Thunderbolt 5 hub or to a monitor or something like that. But the real benefit of this whole upgrade is mobility. Yes, right now the Mac Mini is sitting there, but that's not where it's going to stay. With this new setup going through the local network, I can move that Mac Mini down here, you know, next to my 10 gigabit switch, or I can move it right down to the bottom of the house next to my main server rack and just integrate it there into another 10 gigabit switch. I've got the freedom now to move this Mac Mini anywhere in the house, anywhere in my home network. I can just move it anywhere and I'll still get 10 gigabits per second. That is amazing because it just allows me to set up this Mac Mini anywhere as a home lab. Now, right now I'm using it as a time machine backup and it's working great like that. Now with the cable connection, I was getting 37.8 gigabits per second. I'm now down to 9.4, but for time machine backups, that's fine. And that kind of 10 gigabits per second speed is great for a lot of different situations. I can connect from the Mac Mini to my NAS at that speed. I can use Docker on the Mac Mini. But again, the, the real benefit here, yes, it's the speed, but also the fact that I now have the freedom to move this Mac Mini anywhere in the house. And that's just amazing that I've now got this flexible little computer that I can move around and I can continue to get 10 gigabits per second when I do it. And that's you know, a fantastic upgrade for me because I did not opt for that 10 gigabit per second upgrade when I bought the Mac Mini. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and I hope you've got a good understanding as to why this upgrade was so good for me. I'll leave a link to um, the Acasis 10 gigabit ethernet adapter here. I think overall it's been fantastic for me. It's very useful and I like the fact that if my home lab setup changes in the future, then I can use this with a laptop, I can use it with a different computer, I can use it however I want to. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, do give it a thumbs up, do subscribe to the channel. Any questions, please do post them down below. And until next time, take care.